Wind River is written and directed by Taylor Sheridan, who also wrote Sicario and last year's Hell or High Water. This movie follows an FBI agent who, with the help of a local wild game tracker, investigate a murder that occurred on a Native American reservation. If you saw my review of Hell or High Water, or you saw my very old review of Sicario, you would know that both of those films I loved so much. In fact, both of those movies were in my top 10 favorites favorite movies of their respective year. And a big reason that I loved both of those movies as much as I did is because of the excellent writing by Taylor Sheridan. And like Sicario, and like Hell or High Water, once again, he absolutely delivers. Wind River is without a doubt going to be one of my favorite films of the year. This is such an excellent movie. Elizabeth Olsen portrays the FBI agent in this film, and her character really did remind me of Emily Blunt's in Sicario. Both of these female leads are very determined, capable officers who both are a little bit too ambitious for their own good. And because of this overambition, they quickly realize that they are way in over their heads. Elizabeth Olsen did a very excellent job in this film, but when I was leaving this movie, there was one performance that really stuck out to me, and surprisingly enough, that was Jeremy Renner. Now, I've liked a lot of the work that Jeremy Renner has done. I thought his work in Arrival that came out last year was the best performance that he has given thus far, but he actually has topped himself this year with Wind River. He gives without a doubt the best performance of his career. He is so excellent and gives such a genuine powerful performance that is unlike anything that I have ever seen him do. You also get two excellent performances from Graham Greene and Bill Birmingham. Both of those actors are of Native American heritage and it was so great to see them portray a culture that is criminally underrepresented in movies today. But by far the best thing about this film is Taylor Sheridan's not only excellent writing, but his very impressive directing. Between this, Sicario, and Hell or High Water, actually, I found this movie to be the most gripping of the three. Which really is saying something, because if you've seen both of those movies, you know how tense they can get. So many times throughout this film, I was just sitting on the edge of my seat, completely captivated by what was unfolding on the screen in front of me. The climax and the resolution of this film is one of the most tense endings that I've seen a movie in a very, very long time. I think it's on par with moments like the recent ending of Nightcrawler with the car chase through the streets of LA, or the famous night vision goggle scene with Buffalo Bill in the end of Silence of the Lambs. Taylor Sheridan once again proves that he is able to not only craft tense, gripping action scenes, but also very deep character moments and arcs. I cannot wait to see what this guy does next because he's quickly become Becoming one of the most exciting writers working in Hollywood right now. Overall, Wind River is a relentless, engaging thriller that had me guessing the entire time. It has one of the most intense climaxes that I've seen in years, but it's because of its fantastic performances and brilliant writing that really set Wind River apart from the rest and will without a doubt be in my top 10 favorite films of the year. So did you guys see Wind River? What did you think about it? Where does it rank for you between this Sicario and Hell or High Water. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, click the link down below and subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, movie related things. Guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.